right, I'm continuing on with update on my um, Happy Mail book here. And, oh, a little side note. I found these at Walmart the other day, these painter pens. I got a, a big fat black one and a white one as well. So I've used those a little bit in here. Um, as I said before, I was going to be adding in all the little bits and pieces and then also some of the washi tape I had saved. Uh, so I'll just show you some of those things. Um, I've added here and here. Oh, and I also used my uh, roller stampy tool. So you'll see some of that on occasion. Uh, I've got to fine tune where to put these things. All right. Maybe I can scoot this this way. There we go. All right, nothing there. Nothing there. Did some stamping up there. That is uh, music notes. Oh, and I've got my other light on now, straight up here, so it's illuminating better. Maybe it make the image a bit more clear for everyone. Um, I did stamping here and added this chipboard embellishment. I did some doodling on this flower and around the bird. And I think that's it for so far on that one. And I added this tape and this stamping here. A little stamping on the, the piece that comes out. A uh, little tape here. Some stamping there. This little purse. Stamping and a little bit of tape. Uh, I'm in the process of coloring this in. I got my hand is having an issue lately. Um, I think some of it's to do with putting some things together using a screwdriver. So uh, it got crampy trying to color this in. So I will continue more of that in a little while. This gem piece. <coughs> Excuse me. This little fluffy and did some doodling. A little hedgehog. It's pretty cute. I uh, don't know how well you can see it. Let me get it closer for you. But I added a line next to the lettering that the other person had done on the numbers in my name there just to kind of give it a bit of shadow ish type deal. And then. <clears throat> I'm not messing with this one. I colored in this bird using different jelly pens and uh, opaque pens. It's pretty cute. And then did this sticker and outline. I added this bit of tape. Colored this flower and added this um, chipboard piece and stamped some here. A bit of tape there. I added this little embellishment. I think that was already on there. And stamped across the top. I added little uh, rhinestones to the centers of these flowers. And did this bit of stamping and a little bit of tape. I added a square set of gems down here. Um, I put this on. I don't remember if it was before or after this video, but that's on there now. And then I added a strip of these uh, bling ribbon kind of stuff. I did this tape, that, this little chipboardy deal, and colored in the rainbow. Added that sticker and some stamping at the top and the bottom. And I put that bit of tape in there. Added this and this little bird. This, this wasn't part of Happy Mail. I found it laying on my floor and figured it could just go in here. A little bit of tape there, some stamping here and here. I colored this in and added this chipboard star. I think I'll come back through and uh, write the word trust over again with uh, black to bring it, you know, back out. Filled in my name here with some of those. Um, markers I got. Colored this little gal in. 
and did a bit of stamping there. Um, added this, no, that's already on there. I'll say I added that washi tape, but I didn't. It was already part of the mail. Um, this washi tape here, that's stamping. This little owl, this flower, which keeps getting mangled to glue that down. Bit of washi tape there. <coughs> stamping and washi, nothing in there. A little stamping here. The sticker, I outlined this image that they had done. Some stamping on the side. Um, added the kitty and the stamping. Just a little doodad and a bit of washi and a little stamping. This had nothing on it, so I, I glued this on here, a little stamping, and added this bit of washi, which has a kiss sticker in the middle of it with glitter, glitter lips. Put that over there, put this little sticker on, and this bit of washi. I got this bit of stamping here. that bit and this washi. Yep, that stamping. And then I did this little flower embellishment. That stamping. This Eiffel Tower. Stamping here. Bit of washi tape. And I do believe that is it for now. So the next thing I'm well, I can't do it next. I have to wait until I get a bit more um, Happy Meal to fill in those two, two spaces. So, hint, hint. If you want to send me something, my postal address is now on my header for my YouTube channel. Um, and I think I mentioned in my previous video... I don't know. I, I typed it someplace, but I'm going to actually say it out loud now. I would like to get a collection of different um, ATC cards from people because I only have the ones that I've received in designated swaps and I've shown my ATC book before that I've made. So I have just this many. You know, that seems like a lot maybe compared to some people, but I would love to have more and fill up my little book. And what I would like to do is I will feature them on my channel when they show up. And um, I have my, I took a, a frame, or let me show it to you real quick. I have this frame I painted, it's a nice red color. And then I put the chicken wire inside and I would like to pin art pieces that have been sent to me. And I only want, well, if you want to send something bigger, that is fine, but I would like to stick to a, uh, ATC sized or um, the, the tags, like the Tim Holtz uh, tag of the month size tags. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos, but it's just, you know, a little bit bigger shipping tag. And that way I can get, you know, several on here at a time. So I'd like to uh, display those up there for everyone to see. And then later on, I'll include them in my binder. Okay, so as I said before, if you would like to participate by sending me an ATC or a tag. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's a tag. This is about, what size is this? This I made myself, but they're approximately the same size. So about three and a quarter by mm, six and a quarter, something around that size. So if you'd like to participate by sending a tag or an ATC, uh, the address is in my, my banner and also in the info section of my uh, YouTube channel. I'll include it in the description of this video as well. So please send that out. If you do send me something, you will get something back. It might be a piece of artwork. It might be some bits of papers you can use in a project. It might be embellishments. Uh, but you will get something, and it won't be like, oh, I sent you a sticker, okay? So you'll get something fun. But I can't do that if you don't include uh, your mailing address on your paper, on your envelope. And it needs to be where I can read it. I have pretty crappy handwriting, so I can usually read everyone's um, stuff. 
but just in case. Make sure you try to write it legibly, or at least with a good pen that um, doesn't smear. That might become an issue too. But anyway, when I get some more things to fill up this space here, and the one back here that I've left for the last two signatures, I can finally add the cover. So what I decided for the cover is this gift bag I've been hanging on to, which happens to have some postage things on it, plus might be other travel-y kind of things. But I thought it was really cool to go with uh, the theme of the book. And the book will fit. I've already folded it and set it up. I do need to trim it down, but I don't want to do that till I've actually glued it on. So it'll go in there like that. And then the holes where the gift bag handles were, I've already set up. It's not going to stay this way. It's just tied like this so that I don't lose it. But I've put uh, six strings through each hole, and they go this way. And then once I get those two signatures on, I can um, glue that on. And I want to add... The reason I did this is uh, some people have sent me beads and paper beads they have made. So I want to include them on the outside as something fun to, to jingle around. And then I made sure to include extra strings in case other fun doodads show up. Because you can't always just, you know, you can't put them on a page. They don't, they don't work very well. And uh, it would make your book uh, really chunky. So thank you for tuning in to this segment of my Happy Mail book. And I hope to see some fun little things show up in the mail sometime. And feel free to message me, um, letting me know something's on the way if you choose to do that. Uh, so I know to keep an eye open for it. And uh, we'll feature your art in a future video. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, any comments are welcome. Please feel free to ask questions. And... Um, follow me on all of my different social media sites. I've got uh, Twitter, a Facebook page, uh, I do have a Pinterest board you can look at, um, there's Instagram, of course, YouTube, and um, that's about it. So take care, have a great day, talk to you later.